two, one, we're, we're going. We're doing All righty. Get that wire out of the way. Okay, so I've got a bottle of uh, – now, what is it, Zane? Uh, I didn't really name it. But you I didn't think name I it. it what, what style is it? Smosh. It's not really to a style. It was trying to, I was trying to create like a smoky black IPA, but it's oh, kind yeah. of come out a bit lighter in colour and that, so it's more of a smoky brown IPA. And you use – some of my smoky bourbon in it, didn't you? That's right, yeah. I used to call them Tilt your camera yeah. slightly uh, down. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, no, hang on. I've got it in a holder. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, I've got that freaking wire in the way. <laughs> right, there we go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you, you're bang yeah. on. All right, I'll give you the, a quick rundown of the grain bill and stuff if you want. Yep. So we got five kilos of Gladfields Ale Malt, uh, one kilo of Gladfields Manuka Smoke Malt, one kilo of Munich Malt, 300 grams of Gladfields Aurora Malt, uh, 300 grams of Gladiator Malt, 300 grams of Crystal Medium, and 300 grams of Gladfields Toffee Malt. They're all Gladfields Malts, actually. Um yeah, and then I cold steeped 300 grams of dark chocolate malt and 100 grams of roasted barley. Um, I sort of cold steeped them yeah. and added them at the last sort of few minutes of the boil with uh, with also a kilo of manuka honey. So, uh, so what's the ABV on this bad boy? I think it's around the 8% mark. Yeah. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Might, might be a little bit more. I'm not sure. Yeah, because it's got a, it's got <laughs> a little it's bit got, more. It's got seven. It's got seven kilos of um, base malt there. Well, seven and, kilos and kilo of base of malt. Honey. Seven kilos of base malt at seventy five percent efficiency dictates about seven point five to eight percent ABV. So okay. what do you got on top of the base malt? And uh, a kilo of manuka honey. Holy <laughs> fuck. Yeah. This puppy's going to... Okay, guys, yeah. I'm going to drink this and I'm going to say good night. I'm going <laughs> to say good night now because yeah. I probably won't be able to say good night afterwards. Okay. Just sip it. Just sip it. Steve. We're going <laughs> we're gonna to crack this puppy open yeah. and, and this Help has it. been uh, carbonating at... 18 degrees in my fermentation chamber for about it would be nearly three weeks wouldn't it yeah probably yep be very close to yep. three weeks if it's not three weeks it's more than two weeks yeah well that yeah it was yeah okay it was so a we, while ago, we got yeah, a very slight for a week we right. got a so very and the, and the uh and the hops is 60 grams of waka two at first war hop. Waka tau. Oh, is that how it's out? Yeah, waka, waka tau. tau. Sorry. Uh, 30 grams of mochi waka and 30 grams of New Zealand Cascade at 10 minutes. Yeah. Then um, the 30 minute steep at 75 degrees with 30 grams of New Zealand Cascade, 30 grams of mochi waka and 30 grams of Nelson Salvin. Did I say that right? Salvin? Sylvan. Yep, Sylvan. <laughs> yep, yep. And then an, a dry hop four days before bottling was 30 grams of New Zealand Cascade, 30 grams of Mochi Waker, and 30 grams of Nelson. Okay, so what we've got is a fairly dark, non-transparent beer because I've had it in the fridge for about a, a well overnight and um, yep. can you see through yours me uh, I when it gets lower to the bottom it's yeah it's generally it's, pretty clear I think but yeah but it's not transparent okay let's give it a sniff yeah it's got a slight red ready hue to it I'll yeah. tell you what, mate, that smells beautiful. Yeah. 
smoke on the nose. They smoke. Wow. Wow. That smells fan-freaking-tastic. I, I'll be honest, I'm not picking up much more than the the smoked malt and the smoky bourbon on the nose. We'll dive in and yeah. we'll give it a crack. Uh, cheers to you, buddy. Cheers yep, to cheers, you. Steve. And uh, guys, if, if you're unaware, um, well, you will be unaware because it's a secret between me and Zane, we are going to do a, whether it's uh, brewing at my place or his place or separately brewing the same recipe, we are going to brew a beer uh, that we have called Stain, which is Steve and Zane together. Is that not right, Zane? Yep, yep, that sounds good. And we've pretty much, we, we're undecided on our grain bill and our hops. We've got to get together and sort of figure that out, but we, we're going to do it and we're going to put it out there for everyone to see. I'm going to put a video on, on my YouTube channel. Zane, I believe, is going to put a video on his YouTube channel. We're going to give a shout-out to each other and, uh, you know, it is what it is. I mean, we are we are brewers that live within a hundred k of each other, so why the frig not? Yeah, I'll just show you what mine looks like a bit closer up. Anyway, mine's brought up with a good head. Oh, that's got a lovely head, because I believe uh, my fermentation chamber is not really because, you know. But I think I had problems with the kappa. I think my kappa's not sealing properly. Some no, models. no, but what I'm yeah. thinking is my fermentation chamber is not quite warm enough for for um, for the uh, bottle aging. So right. I'm thinking of, because we've got a, a section at the very top of our hot water cylinder cupboard that has got nothing in it. So I can put things uh, uh, beers in there you know if i have anything bottle aging i i should really be putting it in there and uh anyway i want to yep. dive in and give this a wee try and uh let's yep. let's see what we get cheers right. cheers buddy cheers steve Oh my god. Hmm. That's magic. It's oh. That was the worst brew day in there too. What's now I can, why it's so tasty. Now I can actually pick up my particular smoky bourbon in there. And I tell you what, Zane, next time we meet, you've got to try my toasted oak uh, weak aged uh, bourbon because oh, yeah. it is freaking dynamite. Um, I'm not sure what I'm what I'm picking up outside of that. What what ABV did you say this was? About, yeah, about eight. About eight. Yeah. About eight. Maybe eight and a half. I'm not sure. If you add extra on for bottle conditioning or whatever, but uh, it started off at ten seventy five, and it finished at ten ten. Okay, so just give me a second, and I will figure that out for you. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah. And, tools, calculators, uh, ABV calculator, ten. 75 to 10, 10 is 8.53. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, it's got something. It's It's got a... Um, there might have been a little bit of alcohol on the bourbon. 
but I, I didn't use a lot of bourbon. It was probably only about about half a cup or something. And I just sort of soaked that in the oat chips, probably about 60 grams, I think it was, worth of oat. It was actually oat cubes. Yeah. <coughs> Mm. But I, I tell you what, I've got I've got to give it to you, mate. You, you've you've come a freaking long way from from, and we both have. In all yeah. honesty, you know, we've both come. We've what we are. We're sponges for knowledge. You know, we've learned, and we're not fucking arrogant, and we're not. We're not saying, oh, no, my way is the best way. I know what I'm doing. Don't tell me what to do. We're more like fucking, okay, if you've got some information that will help me brew better, please, please offer it. You know yep. what I mean? Yeah, and I'd learned all my, pretty much all my stuff off YouTube because we don't have a club or anything in Ashburton. It's, um, yeah, <laughs> it's... um. Yeah. I've so got, I've got to be honest. Club, yeah. I've got to be honest. Um, my honest opinion is, my honest opinion out of five being the best and zero being the worst, I would give this a healthy three point eight to four. Oh, cheers, Dave. And that is my honest opinion because it is a very for an eight percent beer. It is very uh, sessionable, although the session won't last too long. <laughs> I mean, sorry, sorry, guys. Um, Steve's going to be out to it in about three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on, mate! Give me oh, no. six. Give me <laughs> six. <laughs> Give me six. Okay, six and a half. Fucking pull my finger. <laughs> Nah, no, nah, but, but yeah. to be fair, I can't put my finger on. Oh, let me just have another crack. Might have snuck a bit of Amarillo in there as well. In the oh, room. I know what it is. I know what it is. I know exactly what it is. I know what the, the, the odd flavour that I'm getting is. It's the smoked malt. Yeah. Far out. That's that's actually very nice, isn't it? Yeah, it takes a bit of getting used to. Yeah, it took me. A few yeah, it, to it, it took yeah. me took me two or three sips to get used to, and then now, now if I have a wee sip, yes, it's definitely that is definitely it. It is the smoked malt. It is nothing you have done incorrectly. You have done everything. Can I ask you, if you yeah. remember, what was your efficiency on that brew? Yeah, see, that was the thing, because I'm only new, sort of new to the all graining process and that, and I don't, yeah, I don't really know. I got... Okay, uh, okay just tell me, uh, how much grain did you start with? All up, including the the specials. Oh. Everything. Uh, what have we got? Including the cold steeping. Everything. Yep. Okay. Uh, seven. Seven nine. Eight. Eight. Eight point four. Okay, and what was your ABV? Um, the ABV all up, would you say? It was all up, eight and a half. all up, eight and a half. Okay, so to be fair, we, you and me as a team could work on your efficiency because I'm not being mean or anything like that, but it's a freaking beautiful beer, to be honest. But your efficiency is slightly under the norm um, uh, because yeah. for, put it this way, for five kilos of grain, you should get around about 6% beer. 
So for so this is for like a twenty liter batch, I'm guessing. Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, yeah. But I think I ended up with about twenty three liters or something. Okay, yeah. but the the literage doesn't actually impact on that. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so if but there again, there again, Zane, there again, uh, the higher ABV you go the less efficiency you're going to get by nature. You know, you, you can do a, you know, for example, you can do a... I can hear that in the background. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. There's music playing in the background. Um, hey, but yeah. <laughs> sorry. No, that's all good. Um, yeah. I mean, basically, for a 8% beer, you're looking at around about, I mean, 7.2 to 7.5 uh, kilo of grains or adjuncts or both or yeah. a bit of both or, you know... Um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I mean, the m I'm glad I've got a second bottle of this because... Yeah. <laughs> Look, freaking pretty good grass, uh, glass lacing too. I don't know if you're getting that, but yeah. <laughs> Is this your SJ Poor Challenge beer? Yeah, that's my, my entry. It was the first oh. time I'd ever done a recirculated mash too. I did it in a grain bag just in my pot. And I even scorched the bloody grain bag on the bottom of the pot, and I thought, oh, shit, that's going to ruin it. <laughs> it hasn't really, is it? Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. That. That.